Today I will show you how to create this realistic VHS look only using After Effects. Yo, hello. It's Bobby from Editing Visuals here. And guys, I am really excited that I finally found an actual great plugin for VHS looks. As you might know, there are some plugins for VHS looks like Signal, for example. It gives you this kind of look when you add it. This is one of my favorite effects, maybe even my favorite effect out of any effect. But the problem is, it's very difficult to make this look like the real VHS. There's also this uni.vhs, but this one is also kind of difficult to make it look like the real VHS, although it is still a really cool effect. But I found this video editor called uh, Fred Belly, who actually has a plugin that creates realistic VHS looks, and you only need After Effects and that plugin to create these VHS looks. You don't need to film with a VHS camera or to have a VHS camera, you only need this plugin. Uh, the plugin is not free though, but I really recommend to get it. And if you want, I also have a $5 discount code, uh, Povicas. If you type the discount code Povicas in the checkout, you will get $5 off on the VHS plugin. But anyways, I wanna show you how to make some really cool adjustments with this plugin and also how to make some cool VHS glow effects as well. Uh, so I have this clip of Netspan from the Nothing Like You music video. So now I can go to Window, Extensions, and VHS Cam if you have bought the plugin. And here the plugin will pop up. This is my main composition, main comp. Here we will have our compositions or pre-comps, I guess. If you want to just VHS only one part of a clip, so we can cut that part out. So we can press Control Shift D and go to the ending of this clip. So let's see where the ending is. And we can press Control Shift D again and cut this clip out. And actually, now we need to right click on the clip, press pre compose. We can call it like VHS 1, press move all attributes into new composition, press OK. And now we can reload here, and now VHS 1 will pop up. And now let's press launch. Now, this plugin is a bit on the heavy side for your PC, but the effects are absolutely worth it when you see how they look. OK, and here we have our look. Uh, now we can actually go here and press to fit because it for some reason automatically scales down. And this is all already a super cool look very realistic in my opinion now i do like to make some adjustments and here are a lot of adjustments you can make for example if you don't like this uh, text which i usually take out then you can just go to overlays and just press x and you will remove this or you also can choose from like around nine overlays like you can press and get this like auto date uh, it shows also a really cool preview here but i'm just gonna press x and i'm gonna go back and now we just won't have any text because i don't really like to have text all the time but i do like the text that fred belly provides here uh and you can go through all of these cameras by yourself. I can just show you a couple that I really like. I know that Broadcast 2 is amazing. Very VHS as well. I mean, just look how realistic that looks. Go to Camcorder 1 as well. Camcorder 1 is also one of my favorite looks ever. Just look how edgy that looks. Camcorder 2, also super VHS. Camcorder 3 is actually probably my favorite one. There's also Point and Shoot. I've heard that many creators find this the best one. There's also the Pro Camcorder. This also gives me this kind of like a CRT vibe. I really like CRT vibes as well. And then we have the surveillance, which is very cool. And the last one is formal. But now let's go back to the first one that we had, which is broadcast one. Now, just look how amazing that is again. And what you can do is like, if you don't like that it shakes while moving, then you can press here and it will turn off the V shake. I usually like to keep it on. It can also turn off the flicker, the static, which is basically these like particles, almost this dust. But I like to keep the dust on. And we can go to glitches as well. And you, if you want, you can turn off the glitches here as well. You can also add this rewind. This is a very cool effect if you want those VHS rewind effects, but I like to turn this off. I'm just gonna turn off the glitch from here as well, because I don't really want the glitch. And then let's press back. There are some adjustments I like to do. I like to go to source, and here you can make it so these bars are a bit less or more interlaced. So I like to make like 0.75, and it makes a bit less interlaced. This is probably my favorite one to choose. I also like to scale this up actually just a bit. Although I think the default settings are very cool as well already. Maybe that's a bit too much. I'm gonna go there. Also, if you don't like how this aspect ratio is, you can change it by making it to normal. This is the normal one. Aspect ratio 21.9. Very VHS as well. This is probably my least favorite one, but this is like a block version. I'm just gonna have it to for free and I'll press back. And if you like what you have, you can press confirm, but I'm not that yet. So what we can do is go to this VHS one composition and here you can actually just adjust it. So like you can press Control alt y to make a new adjustment layer. For the people who have plugins, they can make this to a really cool glow effect. So you can type like S flicker and add this effect here if you have the software plugin. And you can also add signal, the plugin I talked before. And here I like to go to Luma modulation, turn off the tape errors. And I also like to add add grain, to make it to final output and also the preset to Eastman XER 500T. And let's now add deep 
glow and here let's make the exposure to like 0 0.8 okay that's great and now let's go to the master composition and this is how it will look now okay the, the exposure might be a bit too much here so you can go back here and lower it to like 0 0.6 maybe and go back to the master composition and you will have this effect guys this is one of my favorite effects absolutely worth to have all of these plugins you can actually not use deep glow and use the normal glow and make a very similar effect so you don't even need to have a deep glow or you don't even actually need to have the signal and if you like this done then you can just press confirm but i can show you some other things you can do so you, like you can uncheck this one and you can actually go here and go to the t and type like a text you want so let's like type vhs the font i'm going to use this is akira expanded so this is the normal one akira expanded but i'm gonna press on here and this is how to look now let's align it to the middle and just see how it looks on the master this vhs plugin really enhances how the text look as well that is just amazing this works very well for logos or for title cards or for whatever you want for any text for any edit and if you want to, to save this you can just press confirm but i'm just gonna go out i'm gonna just gonna select this clip and now we can press confirm if you like it all right now it's done loading so we can go back to our main composition and now you can see there's nothing really here it's just this so if you actually want to see it you have to go to project go to vhs1 vhs cam or whatever you have it called and go to vhs1 vhs cam and drag and drop it here and also uncheck these and here we have made this vhs look and now we can do this for any other clip i'm going to use this in a lot of my projects and again guys if you want to save five dollars you can use code povicas but anyways guys that's about it for the video if you guys have any questions then please let me know uh, fred belly good job for making this plugin uh i really love your plugin man if you're watching this but anyways it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya